Shutterstream 360 product photography software has the ability to capture 360 product image sets using a manual, motorized, or uh, Iconis 360 photography turntable. Uh, let's take a look at the kind of uh, the setup and the workflow involved. Um, first and foremost, uh, you'll want to enable your live view inside of the software. As you can see, my hand going back and forth. That's a real-time preview of what the camera sees onto the monitor. Next thing we want to do is go into our control turntable, more specifically our, uh, in the options area, this gear wheel right here, we're gonna go select turntable. Now, if you did have an Iconis uh, USB control turntable, um, you would want to connect that via USB and power on uh, the turntable and you would see a different menu here. Um, right now, since we don't have our turntable connected via USB, I'm going to first discuss the manual mode then we'll discuss the continuous turntable mode. Then we'll get into the Iconesis turntable mode. So let's select manual. And we will go to shoot 360s here. Uh, basically what this is going to allow us to do is define when working with a manual turntable, we're going to say, okay, I want to capture X number of images. Maybe it's 24 frames. And I want to automatically capture these. Um, so we'll say it's use the auto mode and then we want to just add a delay um, so me having to manually move my turntable I'm going to say all right I want to wait eight seconds to capture an image so I'm gonna say shoot 24 frames and it's gonna take me about eight seconds to position the turntable to the next shooting angle I will enter that value inside of there then I will hit start and that will start the image capture process so it's gonna wait eight seconds and we'll go ahead and capture our first image. Now what I would do here is position my, and pardon me, I'm not working with a manual turntable here, I'm just trying to manually position my object. I position my object to the third angle here. Then our fourth angle etc. So that's how the manual turntable option works. Basically, you're just going to enter the number of frames you want to shoot and the overall delay, how much time you're going to need, um, how much time you're going to need in between shots. So uh, that's how that works. Now, what we're going to do is exit out of the manual. So I'm going to go back to select turntable and I'm going to choose continuous turntable. This is a motorized turntable shooting mode. If you have a turntable that rotates at a consistent uh, spin rate, um, this will be the option that you'll use. Typically, we suggest working with a turntable with a RPM uh, slower than two. That's about 120 seconds per 360 rotation. Uh, the slower the turntable, the better for various reasons. Um, specifically, the slower the turntable, the more frames you can capture. And also, if you don't have enough lighting and you have to have a slower shutter speed, um, you can start to see movement in your actual product images. Um, if your turntable is spinning too fast. So um, this will be very much the same um, kind of workflow that I just showed you here. You'll select your number of frames that you wish to shoot. Um, we're going to do auto capture again. Manual capture would just require us to hit this snap button every time. Auto, it's going to pre-trigger every X number of seconds. And essentially what I would do here is say, Okay, I know for instance that I have a turntable that spins at 120 seconds per 360 rotation. Um, let's say I want 30 frames for the full 360 rotation. Uh, basically 120 seconds divided by 30 frames would be one capture every four seconds. So I'll enter that inside of here. Then when I hit start, it's gonna automatically trigger the images um, capturing the camera every four seconds. So I'm just not working with the motorized turntable right now, but I'll just hit start just to show you how it works. It'll wait four seconds capture and I'm just gonna move. As you can see my hand there, I'll just leave my hand in here just to communicate. So this would be, the turntable would be rotating at a fixed consistent rate. Um, and again, provided it spins at a consistent rate, we know that the captures exactly every four seconds, um, we'll be able to get our kind of full 360 there. So. That's how the motorized turntable or continuous uh, turntable shooting mode works. And last, 
Let me just plug in my Iconesis turntable via USB. What I'm gonna do inside of here is go into the select turntable option and we're gonna see here um, all the different options, continuous, manual, but also all Iconesis turntables here. So I'm working with the silver mid turntable. I will select that option. We're gonna see, obviously we have our shoot 360 button that looks somewhat familiar, but we also do have our turntable controller setting here. So let me enable my live view. Just reposition my object in the center of the turntable. Uh, we do have a different video for the turntable controller, but essentially you can choose how fast or how slow you want it to spin. Um, we're going to just move the turntable to the correct desired shooting angle for the first stop. And we're going to choose the number of frames inside of here as well. So let me just stop my turntable here. I might shoot at a rotation speed of seven. Anyways, users do have full control over that. And we're going to choose, you know, X number of frames. Maybe it's 36 images or again, you can go all the way up to, um, well, it's 360 here in the drop down, but you can go up to this turntable is about 8,400. So these would, you can enter a custom value in there if you wanted. We'll just do 36. That's, as you can see, it populates the shooting angles. That would be every 10 degrees that we're capturing. Direction, you can shoot in clockwise or counterclockwise. I will choose counterclockwise there. Um, image capture will be auto, and I don't need to add a weight there. Um, and you're going to see just how fast this is when I hit start. Um, let me just hit that it's going to capture turn stop snap turn stop snap turn stop snap and as you can see and it's capturing one image every 10 degrees when that process is done then we're ready to go ahead and compose the images into a 360 view that will be in a separate video highlighting the 360 creator function um, if you have any questions about any of these features or functionality please don't hesitate to reach out thank you very much